Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And uh, let us uh, continue to worship Him and bless Him in our lives. Ano man po ang sitwasyon ng ating buhay sa oras na ito. So, today, tayo po ay patuloy na mag-aaral doon sa ating sinimulang topic, yung tungkol sa accessing the riches of heaven. So, mga kapatid, sa ating buhay, meron pong iniwan sa atin ang Panginoon. They call it will, the will of God. In other words, ito po ay, hindi ito isang job description. The will of God is an inheritance. This is an inheritance that the Lord has given to us. So, meron siyang iniwan. Like for example, kapag ang isang ang magulang na katulad nyo, kapag sila ay namatay, meron silang lupain o anumang kayamanan, ito ay automatically na i-inherit na mamana ng uh, mga anak. Nung tayo po ay naborn again, we become ears. Joint ears with Christ. Everything that the Lord has promised to Abraham, we are all entitled to it. Naunawa niyo po. Lahat tayo ay ano, entitled doon sa mga iniwan ng ating Panginoon. Okay? May mana siya. You can read it in Galatians chapter 3 and chapter 4. That God has a will. O in a legal term, they call it a last will and testament. Meron siyang iniwan na kasulatan na testamento, kasunduan. Okay? So, we, being the believers of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are all sons. So, only sons are entitled to an inheritance. Ano ano yun po? In the kingdom of God, ang ang ipinangako lang ng Dios ang kaharian para sa mga anak. When I when I say son of God, sons of God, referring to all of us, male and female. Okay? So, all these things has been promised by the Lord to each one of us. We have an inheritance. Oh, we call it the will of God. So, when you talk about the will of God, it is not a job description. It is what? A inheritance. Mana na iniwan sa atin. And accessing the realm of the Spirit is very, very important. Last week, we talked about the elements of the realm of the Spirit. Diba? And one of that, one of the elements are blessing. Blessing are not sin. Blessing doesn't come from here, from the earth. The material resources na nakukuha nyo, na nare-receive nyo, naranasan nyo, all of these are what? The only the result of the release of that blessing. Because that blessing is what? Unseen. This is part of the unseen realm. Ano, ano po? So, Jesus is living in two worlds while He was here on earth. He is living in the realm of the Spirit. At the same time, He is, he, he is living in the physical realm. That's why He said, I only do what I see my Father is doing. I only say what I heard from my Father. For so long na nabuhay tayo dito sa lupa, ang alam lang natin na buhay ay yung ano, physical lang. And anything that is in the physical realm, yun yung ating binavalue. Like for example, money, reputation, ano pa, uh, your own status in life, mga material things. Di ba? Yun yung ating binavalue. Kasi, pero ang sabi ng Diyos, itong mga bagay na ito ay mawawala. One day, it will vanish because the sin are temporal, but the unseen are what? Eternal. So, blessing, oh, favor, faith, word of God, power, yan yung pinag-usapan natin last week, these are what? Uh, anong tawag doon? Uh, eternal. Ito yung mga bagay na hindi nakikita and it it, it lasts. Nanoan niyo po? Forever. Okay? So ang tanong, ano ang ating pinahalagahan sa buhay? 
yung mga temporal o yung mga eternal. Oh. So sabi ng Panginoon, kailangan natin na ano, ma maunawaan ang buhay natin sa lupa ay ano, hindi isang isang side lang. Oh. We are not living in one world. We are living in two worlds. Okay? So if you want to succeed in the physical realm, you need to learn how to live in the realm of the spirit. That is the key. Okay? Now, today, I'm going to move to the next topic. It's about embracing activations. What is this embracing activations? The word activation or the word activate, oh, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it comes from, uh, it means to set up or formally institute like a military unit with the necessary personal and equipment to put on active duty. If you are in uh, military, you are a service, reservist, uh, you be used in case there is emergency, or there is a war, or there is a uh, uh, merong unfortunate events. So, kailangan ng mga tulong ng mga reservists. The reservists will be activated. They will be called on to that unit para sila ay mag-serve. Example, sa South Korea, ang military service is required sa lahat ng mga lalaki. Diba? Na sila ay, I don't know if required din sa mga babae. But, uh, kahit artist, walang naka, ano, nakakalusot, ibig sabihin, because that's the law. Okay? Kasi nung South Korea, nung panahon na sila inilusob ng North Korea, 1950s, they were not, okay? Pabilis na nasakop sila ng ano, so, para hindi na maulit yun, they train their people to be part of the military. Kaya, they serve in the military lahat ng mga ano, uh, they, if they reach a certain age, they have to serve the military. Oh, they, will be, they will be called on to serve in the military. Now, in the kingdom of God, all of us has been part of what? The army of the Lord. Why? Because there is a war that's going on. The war of darkness and the kingdom of God. Because God wants to establish His government here on earth. And in the process of establishing the government of God here on earth, we, have to evict, we, have, we need to evict the squatter. Because Jesus already fulfilled the requirements for the squatter to be booted out of the earth. Okay? Because of sin, nagkaroon sila ng legal right dito sa lupa. And if you're going to look back in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, the plan of God is for man, human, to rule the earth. But the problem now is it's not human are the one ruling the earth. It is the, it is the, you know, the principality rulers, powers of darkness that is ruling. Kaya nga ang tawag ni Apostle Paul, say Satan is the god of this world. He become the de facto god of this world after he deceive Adam and Eve. Now, Jesus Christ, by one man, sin enters the earth, but one man, righteousness, was, uh, it was, enters the earth also through the Lord Jesus Christ. So basically, the war is over. Because the initial work has been done. Ang kailangan na lang is what? The eviction of the squatters that are in our territories. And that's why believers who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ are being pulled out to be, act to be in active service. Okay? He is calling, the Lord is calling us to be in active service. Okay? You can be a believer, but if you are not activated in that service, in bringing the kingdom of God, uh, we might be wasting our time. Diba? We know that importation comes from God or laying on of hands, diba? Activation comes from Him, diba? A call, or tatawagin ka in a serve, in an active service. But Jesus activate the disciples 
in their impartation in Matthew chapter 10. Let's read this one. Ano sabi niya? And as you go, preach, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the activation is this. You heal the sick, you cleanse the lepers, you raise the dead, you cast out demons. It seems impossible, di ba? But we know the story when they came back, they reported that the devil obey the name of Jesus. They're all excited. Sabi niya, Panginoon, mga demonyo sumusunod sa pangalan niyo. Every time men we mention your name. But they did something before they go. Sabi niya, freely you have received, freely give. Anong ibig sabihin, Lord? Bago nila naibigay yung healing the sick, yung cleansing the lepers, yung raising the dead, the casting out of demons, they need to receive it first. So what happens to the disciples, they receive it first by faith. Kasi kung hindi mo tatanggapin, hindi mapupunta sa'yo. Oh. So that is the activation that, what, that Jesus is telling us. He wants to activate the power that we have. We have the Holy Spirit now. And it has to be activated. Ano nyo po? Romans 10, 17. Faith then is birthed in a heart that responds to God's anointed utterance of the anointed one. See? There is what? A role that coming from us. We need to what? To receive. We need to respond. So that is the activation that God is saying. Just as you receive the impartation by faith, you must ultimately take action to use the gift by faith. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Now, if the Lord called you to, you know, to heal the sick, you know, God gave you the gift of healings, you have to be activated on that issue. You have to go on and pray for the sick. Oh. 2 Timothy 1, 6. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying out of my hands. There was an impartation coming from the Lord through Paul. Diba? But Timothy has to what? Stir up the gift of God. He has to use it. Like for example, the gift of tongues. When you are baptized by the Holy Spirit, it is not the Holy Spirit that will speak. Ang sabi ng Bible, He will give you utterance. And the utterance will be coming from the Holy Spirit. It is you that will, that will speak. Speak by faith. I remember 1986. I got born again. Two months after I got born again, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Nobody taught me about the Holy Spirit. While we were, while we were worshiping, suddenly there was an utterance coming into my mind, into my spirit, into my heart. And the Lord said, speak out, speak out. Then, at the start, I don't want to speak out because I don't understand the word. But later on, I found out that is what? The baptism of the Holy Spirit. I was able to speak in tongues. In... So he received the impartation, but Timothy is still required what we call an activation. Like for example, you can receive a car. But if you don't activate the engine, it won't take you anywhere. Yeah, you have the car. Pero hindi mo i-start yung car, ah, yung, yung sasakyan, hindi, hindi ka man makakarating kung saan mo gustong pumunta. Stir up comes from the Greek word anazopeo. Poreo, anazoporeo. Which means to kindle up, inflame one's mind, or strength zeal. Okay, so in other words, the activation is coming from us. Meron tayong part na gagawin. Okay? Yes, you already received by faith the gift. Diba? The impartation of the Holy Spirit. So in other words, you need to put works with your faith. Oh, If you hear from the Lord that the Lord has given you, example, a gift of healing. So you have to, you have to activate that. Oh, Paano paraan? So you look for someone who is sick. You lay hands on the sick. You start praying for the healing the sick. Actually, it was not praying for the sick, but what? Heal the sick. That was the instruction. 
you need to step out and exercise the gift in a safe setting to build your confidence. Yun po ang mahalaga. Kinakailangan ma-build yung ano, yung ating mga confidence sa Panginoon. Now, another thing in activation, the word watch. Sa Bible, ang sabi niya, watch and pray. Over and over again, in the scripture, we are told to watch and pray. To be vigilant and alert. Watch. So, most of the time we pray, but we don't watch. We don't look on the realm of the Spirit and see what is happening. Diba? How can we watch if we cannot see? That's a question. That's why prayer is very important. Uh, seeing the realm of the Spirit is very important in prayer. That's why we are raising up intercessor today, the Melchizedek priest. This priest should be able to see. Tayo yun ang mga priest na yun. Tandaan po natin. There is only two kind of priesthood ang established ni Lord sa Bible. In the Old Testament, they called it Levitical priesthood. In the New Testament, they called it Melchizedek priesthood. Binago ni Lord ang priesthood. We become a royal priesthood. We become kings and priests. And as a king and priest, it is important that our spiritual eyes is able to see. Sabi ni Habakkuk, di ba? I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me that, and what I will answer when I am corrected. Napansin nyo? Sabi nyo, mukhang mali naman ang grammar. I will stand myself on the rampart and watch to see. Uh, he, will, he will say to me, dapat hear what he will say to me. Pero ang ginamit ng, ng, ng writer ni Prophet Habakkuk is what? Watch what he will say to me. Because in prayer, it is important that we are seeing what we are praying. Sabi ni Jesus, But take heed to yourself, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that the day come on you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare in all those who dwell in the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So there was instructions of the Lord Jesus Christ for all of us to what? To watch and pray. So in prayer, seeing is very, very important. That's why I told you seeing is not a gift. Seeing the realm of the Spirit is what? It's an ability that the Lord has given us. That's why it, God has to activate these things. Okay? After his disciple fell asleep, despite Jesus' plea for their intercession, he said, What could you not watch with me an hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Oh, di ba? When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, Sabi niya, can you not tarry an hour? Can you not watch and pray with me in an hour? Our flesh will get in the way. And in seeing in the spirit, if we don't seek to strengthen our inner man. That's why mahalaga na yung ating inner man ay na-strengthen. That's why the purpose of fasting is to strengthen our inner man. E noon, ang pagkaintindi namin ng fasting, Pag nag-fasting ka, you will receive power. No, that's not. It will only strengthen your inner man for you are able to hear and see the realm of the Spirit very clearly. So it is a discipline that strengthens our spirit and crucify our flesh because it is a choice to sow to the Spirit. Because walking in the Spirit is not uh, persahan, hindi sapilitan. 
Ito ay ano? It's a choice. You need to decide for yourself if you want to walk in the spirit or you want to walk in the flesh. Kaya di ba dalawang klase ang Christian sa Bible? The carnal Christian and the spiritual Christians. The carnal Christian it doesn't mean a uh, sinful. Ibig sabihin lang nito, ang carnal Christian, he is only living by the dictate of his flesh, not by the dictates of the spirit. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So Galatians 6.8, amplified version. For he who sows to his own flesh, or lower nature or sensuality, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the spirit, will from the spirit re reap eternal life. So, napansin nyo, meron kang choice. Di ba? And that choice, we call it discipline. It's either you want to sow to your own flesh, or you want to sow into the spirit. So, may choice pa rin. Kaya tandaan nyo, hindi pa rin tinatanggal ni Lord yung ating ano, uh, free will. Okay? May free will pa rin tayo. So when we seek to watch in the Spirit, we are sowing to the Spirit and tapping into our eternal right to see in Christ. That's why this is happening. Apostle Paul is keep on telling us in the initial epistle to walk in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit means to watch in the Spirit. Or you sow to the Spirit and you tap onto your eternal right. That's your right to walk in the Spirit. Ephesians 6, 8, sabi niya, pray at all times on every occasion, in every season, in the Spirit. With all manner of prayer and entreaty. To that end, keep alert and watch with strong purpose and perseverance, interceding on behalf of all the saints. Napansin nyo ang kanyang uh, sinasabi? In Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5, 6 to 8. Accordingly then, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us keep wide awake. That's watch. Alert or watchful. Cautious. And on your guard. And let us be sober. Okay. Calm, collected, and circumpact. See, the, the word is, you know, a lot of things are happening in the world. And a lot of people sometimes are reacting so taog sagdan unproportionately yung reaction nila dun sa nangyayari sa mundo. Kaya ganoon, because we are not seeing the big picture. Tandaan niyo po, the word, God is not going to save this word. The system of this word will be what? This is Babylon, and God is going to tear down Babylon. Ano niyo po? Kaya may mga ginagaw ang Panginoon na sometimes akala natin, ay dapat pigilan. But no. That's part of his plan. That's why it's very important that you are seeing the big picture. Kaya sabi niya, for those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But we belong to the day. Therefore, let us be sober and put the breastplate of faith and love for a helmet and hope and the hope of salvation. <clears throat> so it's time for the sleeping seers to wake up. Watch and pray. Then report what they see. Nanawa niyo po. So we need seers who can see Jesus coming. We need seers who see what is happening in the realm of the Spirit. Okay? Ano ang ginagawa ng Panginoon? Okay? So, nalala nyo doon kay, sa Isaiah chapter 6. Sabi niya, who will, go look, who will go look and who shall I send to see? 
I believe this is what the Lord is saying to us now. And it is reverberating in my spirit. And I believe in your spirit. Who will go, go look and who shall I send to see? That's why Habakkuk said, I will stand on God's rampart and see what the Lord is saying. To see what the Lord is saying. That's why we need to wear our sunglasses. Sun. Speaking of Jesus, we need to wear the sunglasses. We need to see how Jesus looked at the things that is happening in, this, in the world. Not the way we look at it. Kaya kung minsan nagpapanik tayo eh, pag may mga pangit na nangyayari. At madalas, we only look at it the way we look at it, the way we interpret these things. That's why we need to wear our sunglasses. Ano pa? In watching and praying, what are the things that you can see? First, you can see the face of God. Alam niyo ba yun? In Exodus 33.11, Moses talked to God face to face as a man talked to his friend. I don't know how, ano yung, anong, hindi man pinag-describe ni Moses yung itsura ng mukha ng Panginoon. But he only said that, you know, he talked to God face to face. So he was able to see God face to face. Di ba? Kaya nga pinagtanggol ni, ano, ni Lord si Moses laban doon sa accusation ni Miriam at saka ni Aaro na kapatid niya. Oh. It's about choosing a wife. Di ba? Ayaw nila doon sa napiling asawa ni, ano, ni, ni Moses. But God Pinagtanggol niya si Moses. Sabi niya, kung may propeta, I can speak to that prophet. But in most, pag pero kay Moses, iba. Because I speak to him, I talk to him face to face. So, Moses is his friend. Di ba? So, ganun, ganun ka-intimate ang Diyos kay Moses. Okay? Kaya nung sinisiraan nila si Moses, Nagalit ang Diyos. Pinagtanggol niya si Moses. That's why, if are, there are people who are accusing you or saying something wrong against you, you know, do not be bothered. Why? Ang Diyos ang magtatanggol sa inyo. Not only Moses, but Jacob saw God face to face in Genesis 32.30. Gideon saw the face of the angel of the Lord. You know, every time na na may mention yung angel of the Lord, not all the time is an angel. It is what? God himself. Jesus Christ. Siya yung ano, uh, ang tawag dyan ng, ng mga rabbi is the, ano, the second Yahweh. Okay? If you read Daniel chapter 7, nakita nyo doon yung uh, the ancient of day seated on the throne. And there was another one who came riding on the cloud is the son of man. That is the second Yahweh. So, in the Old Testament, the second person of the Trinity already appeared. Appeared, okay? As, most of the time, binabanggit siya as angel of the Lord. Okay? Which is the pre-incarnate Jesus. While there is deception in some prophetic circle about seeing the face of God at will. Naalala niyo po, marami mga tao na ganito daw ang ano, ang itsura ng mukha ng Diyos. Pinagdrawing pa nga nila. There is a biblical precedent for people seeing the face of God. Okay? And many people have seen the face of Jesus in dreams and visions. And I tell you, hindi pare-parehas yung mukha na nakikita nila. Kasi nga hindi nga, ano, parang silhouette lang eh. Diba? But they saw the face of God. But they cannot describe, you know, in words, yung mukha ng Panginoon. In number 6, 25 to 26, anong sabi niya? The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Give you peace, I mean. Oh, The Lord make His face 
shine upon you. So it, it, it means to say you can see the face of God. Okay? So it is for all of us. But to describe it, our words are not enough. At sometimes, hindi pare-parehas ang description ng mga taong nakakakita ng mukha ng Panginoon. Okay? O. Pangalawa, you can also see into the world events. O. Seeing in, into world events is generally for the purpose of warning and intercession. Sometimes may nangyayari sa mundo, tulad ngayon. Social media, madali na may mga mabalita na kanang makikita, nagpo-post ng ganito, ng ganyan. But we don't need to react immediately. You have to see it in the eyes of the Lord. Di ba? You have to see into world events. It is the purpose of that is what? For warning and intercessions. Oh, Habakkuk 1.5 Look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded. For I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told you. See? May gagawin ng Diyos. Kaya sabi ng Diyos, look among the nations and watch. Kaya sometimes, pag may nakikita kayong nangyayari, it doesn't necessarily mean kahit negative yan, kaya ipagpipray nyo na maging, na hindi mangyari. Sometimes, those things are what? Yun ang gagawin ni Lord eh. Remember this word. Hindi niya i-repair ang sistema ng mundo. Papalitan nga niya ito ng kingdom of this kingdom of God. Eh. The system of this world will be demolished, destroyed, and it will be replaced by the kingdom of God. Nako ano po? But we have to, you know, watch and see. Okay? Look at the word events. Oh. You can pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, show me what is going on in nations. Let me see the powers that be plotting against your will. Okay? Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, hindi lahat ng mga nakikita nyo sa Facebook na mangyayari na ginagawa ng mga tao ay pipigilan ng Diyos. No, 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 ano po? The other day, oh, diba, last, last December, last week ng ano, December, matinding ulan dito sa, ano, sa Mindanao. There were, uh, especially in ano, Misamis Occidental. Oh, yung mga area na, di na pinupuntahan namin doon, binaha. Oh. That's why we have to see into the world events. Lord, ano ang sinasabi mo dito? Okay, hindi lang yung, ah, pag-pray natin na huwag mangyari yan. Yung mga ganon. No, you have to see it first. Show me how the enemy plans to work to turn nation against nations. You can see that. Now, cry out to him as your burden for the nation rise, arises. Okay. The only thing you can do, mga kapatid, is to bring a petition before the court, before the divine council. Yun yung trabaho natin. Magpetition. Kasi ang sabi ni Lord, in Matthew 16, 18 to 19, ano sabi niya? Upon this rock, I will build by Ecclesia. Ecclesia is the legislative assembly. What God is looking from His, from his houses, the house of prayer, ang hinahanap niya is what? Legislative prayer. Kasi sabi niya, whatsoever you forbid or whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. So kung wala tayong pinagpurbid dito sa lupa, walang ipupurbid ang heaven. Pag wala tayong inalaw dito sa lupa, walang iaalaw ang langit. So may mga nangyayari sa, at, sa ating mga mundo, sa mundo natin. It's only, one reason is because we did not legislate. Yan ang problem. God cannot break this protocol. Kaya nga, importante na makita natin itong word events so then we can make some petitions before Him. You can also see the rooms in heaven because there are so many rooms in heaven. Okay? Like what I've told you, there are treasure rooms in heaven. The treasure rooms in heaven are what? These are 
naan doon yung lahat ng kailangan ng tao dito sa lupa. And one time I was brought by the Lord in the treasure room in heaven. It was Jesus was standing there. And then sabi niya, oh, ito, iuwi mo na. Sa'yo yan. And then I said, and then he said, these treasures are not for heaven. Hindi ito kailangan ng mga tao dito sa langit. Okay? This treasures is for you down there on the earth. That's why sabi niya, teach my people to come to the realm of the spirit and let, it, let them get it and bring it down here on earth by faith. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, in my father's house are many mansions or my, many rooms. If not, I would have told you. John saw the throne in Revelation chapter 4, di ba? Heaven is a large place. Its possibility transcends your imagination and exceeds your love or your charity. And even walang isang tao na nakakita sa langit o nakaakyat sa langit. Ang pare parehas, walang dalawang tao na parehas ang description. Because the heaven is so big. This dimension is so big. Many people have seen a war room. They have seen libraries in heaven. They also seen business center in heaven. Even body parts, rooms in heaven. Yung mga pray for healing, the Lord brought him them. Brought them in the, ano, in the body parts room. At doon sila nag, alam mo, may sakit sa puso. O, punta ka doon sa langit. Kuha ka ng puso mo para ipalit dyan. That's why we have to ask God. Would you let me see rooms that you've created for specific purposes? Including prayer or strategy, libraries and the like. You can ask the Lord. Show you. Lord, show us the many rooms in heaven. Ako, isang room pala napunta ko doon. The treasure room. Napakarami. Lahat ng pwedeng gami kailangan ng tao. Dito sa lupa, is already there. Kaya sabi ni Lord, naghihintay nga lang ako eh, na may pumunta rito mga anak ko. Just visit me here. And take what is rightfully belongs to you. Sabi ng Diyos, I am extravagant God. I am your father. Would you show me my room? It, it can be. There's a room for you there. Next, you can also see the imagination of man's heart. The Holy Spirit sees the imagination of man's heart. And He can allow you to see what's in the people's heart also. This is part of our ministering to other people. Okay? I believe it's sovereignty. He reveal ni Lord yung heart ng pinagpipray mo. Okay? Genesis 6, 5. Anong sabi ron? Then the Lord saw the wickedness of man's, of man was great in the earth, and the very intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So God can see. Okay? He can see. Because he is God, he can see. In Matthew chapter 9, anong sabi ron? Some of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, why do you think evil in your heart? See, Jesus can read uh, man's imaginations. Okay? So, there are times you can pray to the Father that, you, that, that the Father will show you the imagination of man's heart. Okay? Do this exercise for practical purposes when you are already spiritually sensing something is wrong in a relationship or sometimes in a relationship like in a church. There are people there who has what? A wrong intentions, di ba? A wrong motive. Oh. And there are times that the Lord will show this thing to you, the imagination of man's heart, oh. so that you can pray. Okay? 
be careful not to have a manipulative motive or you will end up in witchcraft. So that is the danger. When God show you the imagination of man's heart, dapat tama yung ating motibo. Okay? Hindi yung, you know, gamitin mo ito to manipulate the person. Okay? You can also see the secret of man's heart. Why? Because God can see the secret of our heart. Because there are no secret hidden from His sight. Psalm 44 verse 21 says, God would not search this out, for He knows the secret of the heart. Oh. And the Holy Spirit can choose to show us the secret of someone's heart. God can reveal it. It's His sovereignty. Okay? That's why there are seers when they are praying for someone. They can see, you know, something is wrong or something's good in the hearts of a person. Okay? So that's why we need to what? Be very careful not to, you know, uh, to manipulate them. Okay? 1 Corinthians 14, 22 to 25. But if all prophecy and an unbeliever is, or an uninformed person comes in, he is convinced by, he is convicted by all, and thus the secret of his heart are revealed. And so, falling down on his face, and he will worship God and report that God is truly among you. That's why he encourages us, Paul encourages us to use prophecy, to admonish, to encourage, uh, to exhort. That is foretelling. So, Foretelling is the future. Foretelling is, is more on encouragement. So when you encourage people, and in the prophecy, you reveal the secrets of his heart, masasabi nila, ang Diyos talaga, paano niya nalaman na may sakit ako? Paano niya nalaman na ganito yung visa ng heart ko? Di ba? Di ba sometimes, uh, uh, in, in, nag-invite tayo ng mga kakilala natin, pinaate natin ng church, and then ang testimony nila, sabi niya, alam mo, Halos lahat ng sinabi ng pastor para sa akin. Why? Because the very word of God that the pastor is, say, it is speaking is what? It reveals the secret of his heart. Ano niyo po? So, it is important na ano? In seeing, you can also see the secrets of the heart of people. The motive, tandaan natin, is to convince and to convict someone who does not believe. Okay? The end of the matter is demonstrating the reality and the goodness of God. Because remember, the goodness of God leaded man to repentance. Any other purpose, ang tawag doon ay ano, witchcraft. I heard a testimony of one prophet, a well-known prophet in America. He was invited in a certain church para mag-preach. But during the worship service, he saw in the realm of the spirit, the pastor is being stabbed by the associate pastor with a knife at the back. Sinasaksak sa likod. Yun ang nakita niya. I know, this guy is, 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 ano, is a prophet. Alam niya, accurate yung nakita niya. But the thing is, he asked the Lord, Lord, how do you want me to, to speak this word? Okay? Kasi kung sasabihin niya yung eksaktong nakita niya na yung associate pastor, sinasaksak yung ano, tinatridor, yung senior pastor, pag sinabi niya yun, magkakagulo. Why? Uh, Siyempre, may mga tao na loyal sa associate pastor, may mga loyal sa senior pastor. Tama? Now, the Lord gave him a word how to speak this negative thing or yung Secret of man's heart. Kung paano niya i-expose. Pinatayo niya yung senior pastor sa, sa stage at tinawag niya yung associate pastor, pinatayo niya sa likod at pinalagay niya yung kanyang kamay doon sa likod ng pastor. At ang sabi ng pastor, he prophesied on the senior pastor. But the, sabi niya, the Lord is calling you to support this man. You are in this ministry to support this man. And the guys keep on, you know, he start to cry. So, hindi man na alam ng mga tao bakit umiiyak si, si, si 
the associate pastor. Kasi di naman nila alam yung secret of the heart of this man. Then later on, after the service, nag-request yung uh, associate pastor ng meeting with the senior pastor, kaharap yung propeta. You know what happened? He admitted, he repented. Tama yung nakita nung, nung propeta na ini-stab niya yung kanyang senior pastor. You see? The, the, the secret of the heart was being exposed. But the purpose of the prophet is what? To demonstrate the reality and the goodness of God. Not to condemn the person. Okay? Sometimes we dwell, we dwell on, the, ano, on the negative. That's why when you see something negative, you have to ask the Lord, what are you showing me? Ano ba yung pinapakita mo? You have to focus on the goodness. Kasi kung hindi, witchcraft ang kalabasan yan. Next, you can also see the secret counsel of the wicked. Okay? Now, demon powers are conspiring against you and others even now. They are conspiring against us. And they knew. They knew us. Oh. Kaya, lahat ng gagawin natin ay kanyang ano, hahadlangan. Because we know in John 10.10, 10, di ba? The enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He does this through a network of demon powers. Tandaan niyo po yan. They are not omnipresent. These demons are not omnipresent. That's why they have, the devil has what? The, the accuser of the brethren or the or adversary, Satan, he has what? A network of demons working together. Tandaan niyo po, united ang mga yan. Okay? To share intelligence, they have gathered on you specifically on a mankind in general. That's why in Revelation chapter 10, chapter 10 verse 12, the devil is what? He ran to and fro here on earth. Diba? Sabi niya kay Job chapter 1. Tinanong siya ni Lord, where are you from? Oh, I came from the earth. Why? What the devil is doing? He ran through and to and fro, heaven and earth. Why? He is not omnipresent. And his minions down here on earth, the demons, will report to him. Oh, si pastor na ganito, oh, si ganito, gumawa ng ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And then he go up to heaven and then he file a case against us. Ano niyo po? Kaya nga ang sipag niya, day and night, so, hindi nga natutulog na. Oh, just to accomplish their purpose. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Psalm 64, verse 2, David said, Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. See? There is what? A secret plot against us by the devil. Oh, if we know what the enemy is plotting, we can go onto the offense against it, or if the attack is already underway, we can ready an effective defense against it. Kaya mahalaga, you see the secret counsel of the wicked. You can also see the keys. Di ba naalala nyo ang sabi ng Bible? Upon this rock, I will build my ecclesia, and I will give them the keys of the heaven. Di ba? The kingdom of God, I will give them the keys. Whatsoever they bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Remember, the devil has gate, but they don't have keys. We have the keys. Oh, question. Why people knock at the door? Kahit sarili niyang bahay, bakit siya nagnanak sa kanyang sariling bahay? The only reason is this. Sarado ang pinto, wala siyang dalang susi. But if he has the keys on him, on his hand, so hindi na niya ka nakalang kumatok. Di ba? Lagay lang niya yung susi sa keyhole, bukas ng pinto. That's what God is telling us. They gave us the keys of the kingdom. I said 22, 22, I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. See? That's the power of the key. Oh. Jesus spoke the keys to the kingdom. Somebody, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Sabi mo niya, Revelation 1.8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord. Who is and who was 
and who is to come, the Almighty. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. Revelation 20 verse 1. So when you can't fix, when you can find the key, or when you are using the wrong key, you cannot legally gain access to the places God wants to take you. Tandaan niyo po yan. You need the key. And the battle actually is the battle of the keys. Because literally when you get the key, the gate is already destroyed. It's already finished. Tapos na siya. That's the reason why ang ginagawa ng kaway, he make us blind to the real keys. May binigay siyang susi. How can we establish his kingdom in our territories? Not only that, you can also see the new heaven and earth. Oh, Revelation 21, 1 and 2, pinakita kay Apostle John, beloved John, ang new heaven and new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. So the new Jerusalem shone with the glory of God and he described it as like a precious jewel and clear as crystal. Okay? Not only that, you can also see into conversation. Remember Elisha? When the king of Syria was warring against Israel, Elisha could see into his room and hear his battle plans. Kaya, Elisha took what he saw in the spirit to warn the Israelite army so they would have a field advantage. Oh. Magaling yung ano. Magaling ang Diyos. Di ba? May intelligence siya. Di ba? Ang intelligence gathering niya is in the realm of the spirit. That's why eventually the Syrian king was so troubled, he thought surely he had a traitor in his beads. Sabi niya, tayo tayo lang nag-usap, paano nalaman ng Israel? Oh. Di ba? Kaya ang unang naisip ng Syrian king, may mole. May traitor sa atin dito sa loob ng ating ano, kampo. E ilan lang tayong tao nakakaalam ng plano? O pagdating natin doon, naunahan na tayo, naambush na. And one of his servants said, None my Lord. Lord, sabi niya, mahal na ari, walang mole. Sabi niya, But Elisha the prophet who is in, in Israel tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. <laughs> you can see. Oh, sabi niya nung servant, Wala hong mole sa atin. Meron ho silang propeta. Kahit ito bulong nyo, sa kwarto nyo, alam niya. Kaya di ba, hinanap nila si Eliza, tas, da, di ba pinalibutan nila. So we do not have legal permission, the spirit, to be seeing eavesdroppers or listeners and stalkers. Okay. In the spirit realm, hindi tayo binigyan ng legal right na, you know, makinig sa usapan ng ibang tao. Maliba na i-allow ng Diyos. Wala kang legal permission. Nakuha nyo, na mag-eavdrops. Mag oh. Kaya nga kahit dito sa lupa, bawal ang wartapping eh. There is a wartapping law. Oh. You cannot put a wartap uh, sa communication ng dalawang, ano, dalawang tao. Oh. Kasi private yan, privilege yan. Okay? God used Elisha to help protect Israel from its enemies. Okay, by seeing into the conversation of the king and his uh, no, uh, army or his uh, generals. So you should not try to see into someone's conversation without an unction from the Holy Spirit. Do not try to listen or eavesdrops or mag-stalk sa usapan ng iba. Kasi hindi ka allowed. Because such practice is witchcraft. Di ba? Kahit nga sa batas eh, bawal kang magbukas ng letter ng iba, ng ibang tao. Hindi pwedeng basahin yung letter ng ibang tao. Lalo ngayon, yung mga text message, hindi mo pwedeng basahin yan. You don't need to witch, uh, eavesdrop 
sa ibang tao, bawal yun. In the spirit realm, bawal yun. Maliban na ipakita sa'yo ni Lord. Divine sovereignty pa rin yan, mga kapatid. But it is true, you can see into conversation. Kasi inire-reveal ni Lord dyan eh. Lalo kung halimbawa ang merong panganib sa buhay mo, ipapakita sa'yo yan. Yung mga usapan ng kaaway. So a safer way to do this exercise is to ask the Holy Spirit to show you and let you hear the demons influencing people to do some someone harm. So, Lord, ano ba ang ginagawa ng kaaway? O, di ba? Pwede yun. But to see into their conversation, kapag hindi enalaw ni Lord, hindi mo pwede makita yan. Next, you can see the locations of people and things. Meron tayong satellite. Ang tawag natin ay GPS. Di ba? O, kapag yung cellphone mo ay naka-on ang GPS, they can track you down kahit nasaan ka. Okay? Kaya marami nagre-react itong tinatawag na SIM registration law na mai-invade daw yung ating mga tinatawag na personal information. Mga kapatid, huwag kayong matakot. Bakit kam nyo? Ba't ko nasabi? Nung kayo nag-open ng Facebook, Facebook account, TikTok, Instagram, o anumang social media, even email, they ask you for your number, they ask you for your name, your address, lahat. Nag-open ka ng GCash, they ask for your ID. Hello? Oh. Kaya nga, magugulat ka, may mga tatawag sa'yo. Ano, 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 may mga tatawag sa'yo, no, mga telemarketers, nagbibenta po ano-ano. Saan nila nakuha yung number mo? These companies, yung mga website na, or email na pinasukan mo, binibenta nila yung information. I'll give you the truth. Facebook, how many, ano, how many ang ano natin, user? Na around 64 million nata ang user ng Facebook sa Pilipinas. And they're not paying. Anong tax, hindi sila nagbabayad. Data mining. Mabuti pa yung mga nagmimina ng, ano, ng ginto at ng mga minerals. Nagbabayad sila ng tax. But the Facebook, they are not paying at the data mining. And remember, in this season, in this time, information is so powerful. Kaya, mga kapatid, huwag na kayong magre-react. Actually, for me, ha, personal, ano ko lang, yes, the enemy will use it. Time will come. Hindi mo niya mapipigilan. The only way, ay huwag kang gumamit ng social media. If you feel like uh, you are being threatened, your, uh, tawag dyan, yung iyong personal information, huwag kang gumamit ng social media. But if your reaction to those uh, SIM registration, ay mabuti nga yun eh, para sa akin eh. Bakit? Eh yung mga nanluloko. Mm. Ako almost every day. May tawag ako, na, ano, representative daw sila ng bangko. Alam niyo, ang bangko hindi tumatawag. Mm. Tapos may tumawag naman na, ano daw siya, taga-converge. At hinihingan ako ng information. What? Sabi kong taka-converge ka, my information is in your database. Bakit niyo ko hihingian? Hindi man ako tumawag sa iyo. Wala man akong kailangan na ano, sa converge na sabihin natin na ikakat ko yung, ano, yung aking linya. You see? And there are a lot of people are taking advantage of our ignorance. So, tandaan niyo po. Itong, tawag uh, dito, Technology na ito can be used for good, can be used for evil. That's why the Lord told me to put up what we call e-gotion. Hopefully, by the end of January, mailolons na po namin yung e-gotion. Ito po ay iko-connect natin ang mga believers sa isang platform. Itong e-gotion na ito, may sarili po itong social media. You can post, you can do messaging. Meron po itong 
uh, marketplace, parang uh, tawag dito, parang Shopee or Lazada. At meron din po itong wallet. Okay? You can transact business here. You can uh, send money from the bank to Egoshen. Ano siya? Uh, para siyang GCAS din. May loaded. So, ang gagawin po natin, the purpose of this algorithm is to connect all the believers para we can have our own economy. Nakawa niyo po? So, yung mga believers, they can post to yung mga product nila. They can post their services. Like, for example, you, in, you, when you are in one city, okay, one city kayo, o oh, halimbawa, 1,000 kayo ng member ng Egoshen. Oh. You can now start to have your own economy. Mm. Nakuha niyo po ibig sabihin. If you need carpenter, if you need uh, driver or whatsoever, yung mga personal services, you can look at that. Oh. So yung pera natin umiikot sa ating mga believers. Because tandaan natin, darating ang panahon na ano, sabi niya, the enemy will control the economy of the world. Where no one can buy, no one can sell. But if we have our own economy, we are connected one to another, o oh, bakit tayo matatakot? Di ba? Sabi nila, Pastor, ay ang paniniwala namin, free trip. Well, mga kapatid, that is only a churi. Bakit ko nasabing churi? Kasi may scripture din yung post-trib. May scripture din yung mid-trib. So, alin doon? So, you just believe. Pag-pray mo na pre-trib. But be ready if it is post-trib. You get the point? We are not closing the reality that it might be mid-trib, it might be post-trib. Eh kung pre-trib, ay salamat sa Diyos. At least naghanda tayo. Tama? So, we need to be, ano, we need to be, to look this in a proper perspective. Kaya, later on, i-launch po namin ito, malapit na matapos, sinintay na lang po namin yung, ano eh, yung release, yung registration sa SEC, para we can have a legal identity sa banko, para we can transfer uh, money from your wallet, pag-registered user ka nung aming uh, e-goshen, you can access yung banko. Yung account mo, pwede ka magpadala ng pera doon sa e-goshen. At kung may pera ka sa e-goshen, pwede ilipat doon sa banko mo. Nakuha niyo pa? So, yun po yung aming ginagawa na ngayon. Because, there are people now building up physical goshens. I believe on that. But, there are people who will not go to the mountain to live in a physical Goshen's. When that time comes, there are still people in the city. So how can we connect them? So ito ang binigay sa akin ni Lord. Well, let's connect them through a social media. Kasi hindi natin pag pwedeng gamitin ng Facebook. Alam niyo kung bakit? Eh nung panahon nga ng ano eh, ng COVID, magsalita ka against COVID, eh, iti-take down ng YouTube at ng ano, ng, uh, ng Facebook. Di ba? Now, if you have our own algorithm, or if you have our own uh, application like that, hindi nila ba, no? Unless it, they take down the whole internet. Okay? But, we prepare on that. Kahit pa i-take down nila yung buong internet, i-control nila, we can still operate on this. Okay? So, because the Holy Spirit can show you the location of people. Alam niyo ba yun? Oh. After Elisha gave Naaman a strategy that led to a supernatural healing from leprosy, he offered him a reward. And Elisha, Elisha turned it down and Nathan left. Diba? And Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, went after Naaman and accepted the reward under false pretenses. Diba? Nag, ano, niloko niya si ano. Nasabi niya, uy, nagbago yung isip ng boss ko. Akin na yung reward mo. Oh. In 2 Kings 5.25-26, Now he went in and stood before his master. Elisha said to him, Where did you go, Gehazi? 
And he said, your servant did not go anywhere. O, nagsinungaling siya, pero alam ni Elisha kung saan siya pumunta. Then he said to him, did not my heart go with you when the man turned back from his chariots to meet you? Is it, is it time to receive money and receive clothing? Olive groves and vineyard sheep and oxen, male and female servants. So, Dinescribe pa niya, no? Ni Eliza kung anong tinanggap niya doon kay Naaman. Another one is Samuel chapter 9. Saul lost donkeys, di ba? And if your motives are pure, you can ask the Holy Spirit to show you in the Spirit where someone is. Pwede niyang sabihin sa'yo. You can practice this by asking the Holy Spirit to show you where someone is and then call them and see if you are accurate. Try it. Diba? That's part of activations. Diba? Again, this is not for monitoring and spiritual stalking. Because when you do that without right motive, that is witchcraft. Hmm. Kaya nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, takot nga sila eh. O, sa social media. O, kaya ang advice ko lang, if you feel threatened, don't use social media. Kahit cellphone, alam nyo ba, they can track you in the cellphone. They have technologies. Government has technologies to track you down. O, kahit yung mga telco, they, they know you. Basta, uh, Nakakabit yung SIM card. Oh. Kahit walang load dyan, malalaman ka kung nasaan ka. Kaya di ba, sa cellphone, may note, meron dyang notification. Oh. Yung tinatawag na locations. Oh. Kaya if I were you, turn off nyo yung location na yon para hindi kayo matrack down. Kaya yung iba naman, ewan ko ba, gustong gusto nila, pinupost pa nga nila sa ano eh sa Facebook, yung location nila kung nasaan sila eh. Oh. Di ba? And then, takot sila na ano, na baka daw gamitin yung information nila. Mga kapatid, don't be fool. Nung nag-open ka ng email, hiniyaan ka na ng information, nakuha na nila ang information mo. So, what's the problem? So, if you don't want to be, you know, track down, do not use social media. That's all. Do not use a cell phone. Kasi matatrack down ka, whether you like it or not. But the thing is, the reason why we're using this is because there's no other way ng communication. Eh. Oh. You can also see the condition of someone's heart because God sees the condition of our heart. John 1. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. See? Even yung location niya, no? Ni Nathanael, nakita ni Lord. Oh. He would not have called Nathanael forth if he had seen guile in his heart. Kasi tandaan mo, this is the time wherein Jesus chose his disciple. Peter rebuked Simon the sorcerer after seeing the bitter motive in his heart to buy the Holy Ghost. Di ba? Naalala niyo ito? Na yung, nakita niyo yung isang sorcerer, si Simon, at sabi niya, I'll pay. Kasi nakita ko yung manifestation ng Holy Spirit. When they were baptized by the Holy Spirit, they spoke in tongues. Sabi niya, let me pay. Uh, di ba? And he was rebuked by Peter because of what? The motive in his heart. Acts 8, 10, 23, For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. So the Holy Spirit can allow us to see the condition of someone's heart, either for the sake of avoiding people with toxicity or impure motives toward us, towards us. Not to correct them or to use this information against them, Diba? Motives matters, mga kapatid. And if you don't have a right motive, do not ask the Holy Spirit na i-reveal sa'yo. At kahit ka mag-ask, kapag alam naman ni Lord ang motibo mo, hindi man sa'yo ibigay yan. 
You can also see into the book of someone's life. Why? In Psalm 139, David's right. Your eyes saw my substance, yet being unformed. And in your book, there all were written the day's passion for me, when as yet, when as yet there were none of them. So God has the days of everyone's life written in a book. Even Jesus has his own book. We, each one of us, has his own book. And you can ask the Lord to open a portion of your book. Diba? Oh. Pero I guarantee you, hindi ipapakita sa'yo ni Lord lahat na nakasulat sa libro. Lahat. Hindi lahat. Why? Kasi pag nakita mo ang lahat, aatras ka na. Kasi hindi lahat maganda na naandun. Hindi lahat bed of roses ang mararanasan mo. There are difficulties in life. That's why while ministering to someone, you can ask the Holy Spirit to let you see into the book of their life. When you want to release prophecy, you want to uh, admonish, foretelling, oh, pwede yun. Okay? This can be especially helpful with inner healing and deliverance ministry where someone has suppressed memories or trauma. Ayan. Sometimes you had a, ano, an experience, you know, uh, you know, 20 years ago. May isang member kami sa church na tawag doon? Sabi nila na demon possessed daw. So, madaling araw, tinawag kami, punta kami sa bahay. So, nagwawala yung babae, galit na galit. Sabi niya, bakit? So, ilang araw na kami nagbabantay, wala ma kami maramdaman na presence ng demonic possession or oppression over this person. So, yung manifestation lang ng anger talaga. So we did fasting, at yung kasama kong intercessor, the Lord showed her yung trauma sa buhay niya. Tapos sinabi niya, sabi niya dun sa babae, sabi niya, alam mo, I saw you. Kaya kagalit, kasi you were raped by your uncle and by your lolo. Tapos biglang sumigaw yung babae at nagkaihi dun sa kinaupuan niya. Ang, ang, ang response niya, ibang klase ang Diyos mo, paano niyo, paano niyo nalaman yan? Eh, sikreto ko yan. See? At the time, the woman was, was delivered. Were set free. You get the point of, of that anger and bitterness. You see? That's why, may mga time na ipapakita sa ni Lord yung nakasulad doon sa libro. Yung tao na yun. It can also be helpful in prophesying into someone's future who is hopeless or unsure of what next step to take. That's why people are what? Going to the manghuhula. Diba? But in the Bible, God wants us to prophesy. Learn how to prophesy. So that's why we, we can only prophesy na ano? Kapag ano? You are what? you see something that is what is written in the book of someone's life. So, ipapakita yun sa'yo ng Holy Spirit dyan. So, the purpose of this is to help people not to be a spiritual spy for your own enjoyment or to thwart others. Doing so is what we call witchcraft. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng gawin yan. Nakuha niyo po. The purpose of this is to help people. Amen? You can also see the scrolls. Seers can look into the scrolls as the Holy Spirit escort them. Like John the Beloved. Like Jeremiah. Sabi niya, you eat the scroll. Diba si John? Pinakain sa kanya yung scroll. Sabi niya, matamis sa dila pero mapait sa tiyan. Diba? And John was able to prophesy for nations. Diba? The Bible speak of eating scrolls. Little scroll scrolls or flying scrolls and unrolling the scrolls di ba may pinaroroll yung scroll pang libro okay 
Jeremiah 36, 6. You go therefore and read from the scroll which you have written at my instruction, the words of the Lord in the hearing of the people in the Lord's house on the day of fasting. So you see, uh, there are scrolls. That's why a lot of people, when they pray, they saw scrolls. Because when you pray, the angel will come with a scroll. Alam niyo yung purpose ng scroll? Doon niya isinusulat yung prayer mo. Sometimes they will bring the scroll, your personal scroll, or personal scrolls of a person, or a book of the person. Ispapakita niya sa'yo yung buhay niya. Okay? Uh, so that you can help him, especially in the area of deliverance or healing. You can also see the sins from heaven. The word heaven appears in the Bible over 300 times. And heaven is God's dwelling place. Since we are citizens of heaven, according to Philippians 3.20, we have the legal right to see heaven. Tandaan niyo po. Ang heaven ay hindi lang para sa mga namatay. Ito ay para din sa buhay. You can see heaven. That's why when Jesus was baptized, in the water, and the Holy Spirit came down like a dove, and a voice in heaven spoke, this is my son, and whom I am well pleased. That is the time the heavens open for all of us. He is only waiting for us to see heaven or to enter heaven. Because born again experience is being born above. Ano ang sabi niya? Unless a man be born again, he cannot see. The kingdom of God or heaven. Unless a man is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So it's all about experiencing God. Okay? So heaven is open for all of us. So legally, we are also seated in heavenly place in Christ right now. Even though we are in the physical world today, you are sitting at your sala or in your bedroom, but in the spirit, you are what? Seated in the realm of the Spirit. You are in heaven. Mahirap explain at mahirap intindihin ang ating uh, carnal mind. But that is the truth. Christ is sitting at the right hand of the Father and you are seated with Christ. Ano ang silbi nang ikaw nakaupo sa trono? The purpose is what? To rule and reign. Not only that, you can see sins from the heaven. So John the Beloved, sabi niya, He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as the crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb of God. In the middle of its street, on their side of the river, was a tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. See? Yun ang nakita niya. Sin in heaven. There is a tree of life. At yung tree of life na ito, namumunga, Nang labing dalawang ano, klase ng prutas, one fruit every month. Halimbawa, January, santol. February, durian. March, lansones. O, oh, parang ganon. That is the sin that John the Beloved saw in Revelation 22. Diba? Another one, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. He showed me the great city. The Holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Oh, her light was like the most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. You see, these are the sin of, from heaven. Na nakita ni ano. Kaya walang pare-parehas na mga Kristiano, or even prophets, or seers, that they see heavens the same. Hindi ho, lahat. Kasi malaki po ang langit. You can also see things that are kept secret since the foundations of the world. Psalm 78 verse 2. When he said, I will utter things kept secret from the foundations of the world. Diba? Like in Colossians chapter 2, chapter 1. The mystery that once was hidden for many generations. And the mystery was revealed by God. But what was the mystery? 
Christ in you, the hope of glory. Oh, we know God reveals His secret to His servant, the prophets. Oh. If you are His friend, sasabihin niya sa'yo. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord, our God. But things which are revealed belong to us and our children forever. So God is revealing secret, mga kapatid. That's the point. He is revealing the secret. And the moment he reveals it, it's not a secret anymore. Diba? You can also see cherubim. Cherubim are angelic beings. Cherubim expelled Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. These angelic beings also appear to the right and left of God's throne and are seen as an image above the Ark of the Covenant. Diba? Naalala nyo sa Ark of the Covenant, there, ang tawag nila, covering cherub. Hmm. Ang isa doon dati, kay Satan. Because, if you're going to read Isaiah, chapter 14 and Exodus 28, the devil was a cherubim. He is in the throne of God. He is the one covering the presence of God. While seraphim are only mentioned three times in the scripture, Cherubim are mentioned 66 times with most activity in Exodus and Ezekiel. That's why you can pray, show me the cherubim as they approach, as they appeared before above the Ark of the Covenant and those God's throne. That's why when we worship the Lord, times, may mga times na ino-open yung ating spiritual eyes, we can see the cherubim. I want you to record it or, you know, write it down. Even every dream in the Bible, the Bible records 21 dreams. Almost half of those dreams, 10, are recorded in the book of Genesis. Another 6 are recorded in the book of Matthew. 6 of the dreamers in the Bible are kings, and only one is a woman. So, it's noteworthy that not all dreamers we're serving the Lord. Pay close attention to the symbol and how God speaks through dreams. What God may be saying to you while you sleep. That's why ang sabi ni Lord, promise niya. Sa Joel, mangyayari sa New Testament. Sabi niya, that young men shall see vision and old men will dream dreams. Amen? That's why, bakit niya tayo pinatutulog? Bakit sa tu pagtulog tayo, siya nang nangungusap? Because our con conscious mind is so busy on the day. We don't have time to, you know, to be silenced in the Lord and let Him speak to us. Kaya, pagtulog ka, doon nangungusap sa iyo ang Diyos. Kaya, Mga pastor, huwag kayong magtataka. Kung yung mga senior citizens sa inyong mga simbahan ay natutulog sa inyong preaching. Bakit? They are doing their ministry. So that's why if I were you, pa-aircon nyo yung inyong simbahan. Para hindi naman nakakaya doon sa inyong mga member na mga senior citizen that they're doing their ministry. Do not wake them up. Oh, imagine, sa bahay, di makatulog, pero sa preaching mo, nakakatulog siya. So, like, ibig sabihin, your, your, your preaching is so anointed that caused them to go to sleep and dream the dream of God. No, I'm not kidding. Because in the last days, we can see more of this. Okay? People will be caught in dreams. Seeing God will be showing them. So, the key now is what? You, you need to be activated. Okay? That's why I encourage you, dream a lot. Okay? Spend much time because that's the discipline that God requires from us. To sow in the spirit. That's activation is all about. Because the, the, the ability that God gave you has to be activated. It's up to you now. It's been given to you. You have to receive it. Now that you have to receive it, activate it. 
Use it in a day-to-day -day operation of your life. Gamitin nyo po. Amen? Let us now proceed to our communion this morning. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa 1 Corinthians 11.23 For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. See? Paul received this revelation. And ang sabi niya, I will deliver it to you. Okay? So Paul cannot deliver it unless he received. So he received this revelation. Sabi niya, And I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus in the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He break it and said, This is my body which is for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let us now partake of bread. In like manner also the cup. After supper saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord death until He comes. Let us now partake the juice. Father, we thank you, Lord. Today we have celebrated your death. And because of your death, we are now experiencing the kingdom of God being in us being already but not yet and today we are asking you Lord to allow us to come into understanding of the gifts of the will that you have given to us you left us a will and one of this will is what activating our seeing the realm of the spirit It's not a gift, it's more our ability. For all of us, is able to see what's going on in the realm of the Spirit because you've commanded us to watch and pray. We can only pray effectively if we can see what is happening in the realm of the Spirit. So, Father, we ask you, help us. Help us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us now bring our tithes and offering. Let's just thank the Lord because He is a good God. And remember, blessing are spiritual things. Blessing are in the Spirit. So if you want blessing in your life, you have to go to the realm of the Spirit. You have to take it and bring it down here on earth. No, on your part. It's by faith. Okay? So, let me pray for you. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your people. And we ask you, Lord, that uh, teach them how to sow. Because the principle of the kingdom is about sowing and reaping. Lord, speak to them the things that they need to sow so that they can reap 30-fold 60-fold, even 100-fold. I also pray, Father, that they will learn how to sow in the right soil. Father, we thank you, Lord, today. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can send your uh, offering to this account. Okay. Let's have now our closing prayer for this morning.
Father, as we end this program, we want to give honor to you. Thank you Abba for all the marvelous things you have done today. Thank you for your love that you have revealed to us, and for the love that we share together as your body. May you bless each person who took the time to gather here today and let your hand of protection be on them throughout the rest of the week. Let the work done here come to fruition, and let it all be done for your glory. Bless each of us and keep us safe until we are able to gather together again. We pray for all the words that you have sown into our hearts this day. Watch over them, protect them. May they take root and produce wonderful things, things of beauty and great blessings to many. And as we leave this place now, thank you that you walk with us. May we be alert to your promptings and live in your endless love. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and glory, in this age and forevermore. Amen. Okay. Uh, sa atin pong mga nasa Zoom, kaya lang medyo ay having a technical difficulties this morning. Mahina ang internet. So, yung sa Zoom ay putul-putul ang sound. Anyway, you can, pwede nyo naman siyang uh, mapakinggan sa kapanood sa Facebook Live. So, if you have some difficulties next time, uh, you can move to uh, Facebook. Okay? So, I'd like to thank yung ating pong mga kapatid sa Zoom. Sister Ana Dolor Cordero from Paranaque. Ray Christopher Mercado from Jensen. Sister Irene from Makati. Jess. Narcel Joy Ibanez and Sister Pinay. Okay. Sir Pinay, I'll be in Bacolod, three, February 3 and 4. Pwede ito magkita doon. Okay? So, thank you very much. Ganun din po sa Facebook, yung ating mga kapatid sa Facebook. Uh, Sister uh, Gia from, and uh, Brother Vic from Palawan. Joyce, Ibasco Cruz. So, uh, from Cebu, Sister Elda, okay, uh, Jeff, Mawirat, Sister Ermerlinda, Ermerlinda Saragosa, from Bacolo din ito, si Kuya Willie, Pahardo, okay, pagaling ka Kuya Willie, okay, ganun din po. Sister Franz, Sister Melanie Salem from Montinlupa, Sister Janet Prohimo, si Pastor Jonathan Asio from Santo Tomas, Karen Manso, okay, Ephraim Sumangil, okay, Ray Christopher Mercado, Sister Melody Ong, Bidar, Balio, okay, uh, Merari, Seroy, Renato Duran Tamonte, okay, Sister Nige Santa Catalina, oh, Sister Pastora Sharon from Tawi Tawi, okay, Pastora Salome Ando is from Magpet, Pastor, Sister Mati, Francia. Okay. So, salamat po sa inyong lahat sa umagang ito. Advertisement. So, yung mga naghahanap ng coffee, this is a good coffee para sa gusto magpapayat. Pitrin. You can order it sa Shopee. Okay. Hanapin nyo lang yung coffee na ano. Pitrin or Nutra Green. Ayan. You can uh, order by this uh, 
part of B. Okay. Okay, Sister Selina Ibanez from uh, Negros. Okay, welcome po sa inyong lahat. At uh, as we close our program this uh, morning, uh, let's just continue and uh, thank the Lord sa inyong lahat. See you po next week.